Okay, so I bought and built this Harbor Freight trailer. And uh, this is part is going to be about licensing. I'd read some horror stories on the internet about getting them licensed. And uh, here's the process I went through to get it licensed here in Colorado. It was really not a big deal. Generally pretty simple. But time consuming. That's the only issue, time consuming. Um, you have to go down to your uh, motor vehicle department and talk to them. They'll give you some paperwork. You have to set up a date to take it down for a VIN inspection and a roadworthiness inspection. That all happens at the same time. It only takes about 15 minutes. Um, the guy, basically, <clears throat> all he wanted was my driver's license, $20.00 and the MSO that comes with the trailer. The MSO is that title looking piece of paper that comes with the trailer that's got all the vehicle information on it. It's got the number, it's got the gross weight, it's got the shipping weight, it's got all that information on it. That was the only thing he needed when I went down for that inspection. The issue is, is it takes about three weeks right now in Colorado to get the inspection done. You have to call and make an appointment. They'll call you back. Uh, other than that, I'm, I mean the, the process is really pretty simple. The key is, the things that I did is I made sure that I had that MSO before I ever left Harbor Freight with this unit. I made sure that the, the num item number or the um, VIN number on the MSO matched the VIN number on the receipt and when I got home I made sure the VIN number matched the VIN number on the trailer which is located or in my case was located right here that all matched and as long as that all matches I don't think that you'll have any trouble getting this thing licensed that's where the problem comes in. People leave, they don't have that, and once they walk out of there and they don't have that, they have trouble getting it. If it's not in the box, don't take this trailer with you. Don't take the kit with you when you leave the store. Um, took the uh, paperwork I got from the VIN inspection back up. They issued me a new VIN number I drilled the plate off for the old VIN number, it took about 30 seconds. They actually give me, gave me a plate for the new VIN number. I put it on right here, which is where they said to put it in the instructions. I will, I have a, a number letter kit and, uh, and I will punch the numbers and letters for the VIN number in different places on this trailer because I think just having it there where you can literally drill it off in about 30 seconds is is pretty cheesy so that's the deal that's the deal on licensing you won't have any trouble if you need to get one licensed quickly in Colorado it, this is not the way to go but the thing is cheap I mean with licensing and everything it, it's it was about uh, 360 for the entire trailer 360 370 something like that that includes purchase and and all that so licensing don't worry about it just make sure you have your paperwork when you leave Harbor Freight and you'll be good to go